What's up guys, it's Game Director. Welcome to Ace Combat 7. Skies Unknown. First time playing this game, guys. Uh, okay, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Agree. God damn it, I gotta go through this crap again. Alright. English, obviously. English. I am from America, after all. God damn it. Alright, um. Give me one second here, guys. Uh, sound. Not even gonna bother doing that yet. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Give me a second here, folks. Gotta get my timer on. But yes, guys, I am back. Um, I'm gonna be trying to do some more videos for you guys. Uh, at least for a little bit, just so you guys know. Um, in my last video, I did. I don't think I uh, uh, told you guys in the last video but if I did I apologize but I'm gonna say it again in August I'm gonna be gone for two weeks then I'll be back real soon um, I'm gonna be gone on the 10th through the 25th I do believe yeah so in August I would be I will be uh, I'll be out for two weeks yeah, two weeks exactly. Um, so I'm not going to be doing any videos. I'll let you guys know uh, when it gets closer to the set day. Um, sure. Okay. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? No, it doesn't. It does to me. A hell of a lot. Probably because you want to be a pilot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. And flying is Even not in so, my DNA. My grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. 
Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They oh, taught yeah. me their skills and some dirty jokes. Uh -huh. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. <laughs> That's what you get I for working with old timers. No training. offense, guys. I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But and now, wanna be a pilot. And wanna be a pilot on top of that. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. A lot more peaceful than what you got, I'll tell you that. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Just so you guys know ahead of time too, um, I, I'm not that good on this, that, these kind of games, so if you see me do anything stupid or anything like that, I apologize. I know a lot of you guys might think that, you know, thought that I was gonna fly dark but that's blue. okay dark blue I could there we go touch it. then I saw OCS fighters they were OCS? tearing something a drone they were going full out chasing that thing doing 30 G's at least damn I've never seen anything move that fast it had a rose painted on it the erosion emblem but that country's a whole continent away from here Wait, what? Crap. You should have been my best with you, you piece of junk. You should have built a return too. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I the chick? Wait a minute. Is everyone here? Settle down. Said, settle down. I'm you confused. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Right, okay. Until today. Wait, Earlier, what? Our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Uh huh. They look like Communication bombers. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. But they're bombers. That's what they do. Here's your mission. It's what? It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. Okay. As of today, so what does that mean? Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. Okay. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the and I'm guessing I'm part of this? Then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? What the hell was what? We're under attack. Numerous what? unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? Uh oh. The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. Okay. This is not a drill. Okay, okay. Stop interviewing me already, damn it.
Uh, sure, I guess. I, I don't know. Is that the only thing I got? Okay, apparently that's the only thing I got. So, uh... Oh, okay, I, I guess I can have this then. Okay. Uh... Sword A. Mage Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Okay, so am I gonna be taking off then? Cause I really wanna take off now. I really honestly do. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those oh, birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway if we don't got all day here. Mage squadron head to runway. Column squadron take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Mage squadron. Y you don't think we're hurrying? We're well, jets. This is what we do for a living. Call yeah. sign is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. The situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with page one. Page two, scramble. Take off now. Okay, taking off. Ooh, I'm picking up speed. Ooh. Status report, anyone? Page two altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. The carrier. Whoa, looks like the harbor's taking a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage two, warm up with mage one. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Column 4 understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Wilco. Wilco. I'm your wingman. You fly okay. with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Right. Okay, here we That's go. That's cool. Looks like I just flew I just flew through the sky. Ooh! Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. You're a good pilot. Or so I told him. I had to fill an empty spot, so play along. It's still a leash, though. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Wait, what? Oh. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. Okay. Targets in range, pair of bombers. Trigger, stay calm. You got this. 
I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember, he's still barely gotten his feet wet. Trigger, don't forget your special weapon. Mage 2, rocking. Okay, I really can't see in this view. That's better. There they are. Gotcha. I'm going after the fighter. Cover me, Porkin. Come on, clown! I don't know what I'm doing, guys! Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I'm just. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing! 
freaking fighters, man. You know, I'm really trying not to hit my troops here, but it is really hard for me to. I thought I was gonna land, but okay. Oh, okay. That, that, that's cool. I don't want to see my. I don't want to see me fail. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. If you guys are liking this so far, do me a favor, smack that like button for me. We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhan continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Yeah, see, I... <laughs> okay, it's really showing my replay here. That's, that's funny. That's real funny. It does that as of 1 p.m. today the kingdom of Arugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation as soon as the news broke out enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory causing widespread destruction the air defense force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones they speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely the Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. 
According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. Uh -huh. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. What? The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuja, has been seized by the Erujian Army. Oh no! Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Ah, crap. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and right. which ultimately led to this war. Okay. Located near Erujia, on I the don't continent know what of Yuja, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. Oh, really? Okay. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. Uh -huh. They have ordered all its armed forces, including uh -huh. Yuzhen peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking our news country? From or is it just... Ocean it launched an attack wait, on the capital what? today, I'm striking confused. Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel-2. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Uh -huh. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. So are we one of those planes the that crashed them? Screwed. 20 years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Uh -huh. Erujia was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Uh-huh. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country Where the hell on the Erujian at? Plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war. One they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head. And the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. Uh-huh. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhen, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha. Paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. Okay. But to the folks in Erujia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. I... Erujia what? went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erujian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President but yet they was spilled a whole the bunch of blood for the Americans. Then, while that was going on, the Erujian like... ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military. And not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erujia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. So am I the chick then? In case you were wondering? Yeah. I survived. I, I wasn't, I but okay. I crashed in a bombed-out Air Force base. Then, got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war. All in the blink of an eye. And you got arrested. So what does this have to do with me? guilty and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship too. We headed off down south for several days and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. 
For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire. The tower had a searchlight and machine guns. And a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base. But half the tanker trucks were just big balloons. And the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out. <laughs> and set the dogs on me. Okay. There is so many cutscenes on this. Has made a like I never thought I would be able to do this. The what the actual? The force, that we are now I'm not even going to be able to do this as a mission. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzha. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent. And they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. Uh huh. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advanced element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. Got it. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. Okay. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. So are we going to start off in the area then? Are we going to start off in the air then? I don't know. But guys, that's going to be it for right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, do me a favor. Smack that like button as hard as you can. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. Guys, be prepared for more videos. More Ace Combat 7 coming your way. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.